Uh, what's fun about this painting is that you can kind of totally change it up just following the basic shapes. But like if the color in the background, you're like, my very favorite color is purple, I really want to do purple, you go ahead and you do purple. Um, if you want to do a popsicle, say your favorite flavor is like banana, and you want to make your popsicle yellow, totally do that. I'm going to try my best to follow this one, uh, just so we have a nice example here. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So um, I am using my large flat brush, but you should have a roll of brushes in front of you. So you can unroll them and you can take out all your brushes. You should have four of them, so make sure you have four. I will be starting with my large flat brush, like I said, and then we also have a small flat brush, a large round, and then a tiny little detail brush. So you wanna keep those in your water the entire time. Uh, otherwise, it's going to dry out and you do not want that. And then you have your rag to kind of um, dry off your brush as you go. So we're going to start by working on the background first, letting everything dry. We're going to take a bunch of fun little breaks, um, which means you get to hit pause and you get to watch paint dry, which is very, very exciting, I know. Um, and then when we come back from breaks, uh, we just do the next layer and then the next layer, so we work in layers. So to start, we're going to start with the background color. And again, you can do whatever background color your heart desires. Um, I'm going to do kind of like this teal color. So I'm just mixing some blue and some white together. And then I'm going to do just a smidgen of yellow. And a smidgen is the technical term. Alright, I'm getting a really pretty teal color here. And then I'm just going to paint the entire background this nice teal color. And then again, using water really helps the paint spread. So I definitely recommend dipping your brush into water throughout as you go. And you just want to paint the whole thing. And if you really want to be a nice overachiever, you can even paint your edges. All you do is just paint your edges like this. Super easy. before we go ahead and put the actual popsicle on top of it. that large round brush and I'm just going to go in and make the shape of the popsicle uh, so it's kind of just like a square towards the bottom and then the top kind of curves so that's kind of the shape I'm going to focus in on kind of making a line where I want the bottom to be kind of going up making that curve It's going to be kind of like my basic shape, and again, it's better to work smaller and then kind of make it a little bit bigger. 
So that way I can go in with this paint and I can really define this line, this whole side right here, but I want to make it a little bigger. So that's looking pretty good. I'm kind of filling it in as I go. small detail brush. Um, 
then we'll try to make a circle on here. Let's see here, let's do right around here. There's one. There's two. And then you can kind of paint them in, make sure they're nice and full. Covered in that black paint. You can kind of touch up the circle if needed. Alright, so this is going to be for my eyes. And then we're going to do a half circle for the smile. So hopefully you still have some left. Still using that small detail brush. You basically just want to make it look that it's coming off the side here. So I'm just going to kind of create like a line coming down. And then it kind of has like a, a circle at the bottom.
So it looks like the eyes are still a little wet, so I don't want to put in the white circles yet. So I'm going to go ahead and focus in on the highlights on the popsicle. So that's just these guys right here. So it's just kind of a line following the curvature of the popsicle and then a dot. And then this isn't white paint, this is just a lighter version of the popsicle color. So whatever color you painted for your popsicle, just add a little bit more white to that color. And that's going to create your highlight color. So I'm going to follow along the curve down here with a nice highlight. And the curve up top here. Put a little dot on there. Highlights. And then it looks like we have a couple highlights uh, down here. You can kind of see um, on the melted part, it looks like there's just one little uh, thin line. So I'm actually going to take my brush and kind of like make sure that it's uh, nice and thin at the top part. Get some paint on my brush. By this point, uh, the black part of the eyes is dry, so let's see. Looks pretty good. So make sure you rinse out your brush completely, and then we're going to use white paint. Now if you mess this part up, um, you can let it dry completely, paint over it with black again, and then try it again. That's the best part of acrylic paint. So I'm going to go ahead and create just a smaller circle towards the bottom. a larger circle towards the top but it kind of is going off the top part of that uh, black circle so I'm going to start by just